Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Sight Chick in a one minute pool on ICC. First game of the session, let's play a slow slav against Sight Chick. This is Canadian Grandmaster Thomas Roussel Rousmon. Uh, let's go on at e4, see if we can like plug up the uh, e4 square. I'm curious how he'll knock down my knight. It's pretty strong on that square at the present. Go queen b4. Um, I guess he's maneuvering, trying to get in on key squares. Let's do this, and then go here, and maybe I can get this bishop. Just kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, he, he can retreat now. Okay, let's take here. If he takes with the queen, I have knight d2. So maybe I win a pawn? He sees it. He most definitely sees it. Okay, he's going to allow the uh, win of the exchange. Oh, okay. He moved there. Interesting stuff. Let's kick this knight out. Ah, so he's going to go into that weak d6 square. That's his plan. Let's try to open this side of the board up. Um, let's go a5. Yeah, just opening lines. Knight d6, rook takes here. That's what I'm thinking. He's doing a good job of keeping it closed for the most part. Let's swing this over. Need to get this bishop reintroduced to the game. So now I'd love to play, yeah, like c5, check. give a check, let's say. Um, let's back this off, maybe b5, b4. Um, let's go here. Yeah, he can't take it because I win a1. Time warning. So this is a problem for him. Can take there. Check. Let's do a check. And then we'll take. Check. Check. Yeah, because now we're gonna we're gonna put rook to b1 in and uh, he resigned. Okay, I'm back in the pool. So I'm glad glad to have spotted d takes c4 because. Without that, maybe my knight is a, a little misplaced. This is kind of like a Dutch stone wall. He's going to play f3 and kick it out. So I was checking out the best list right before this. I'm currently number three. And Leverage is uh, sitting at 2844. Look at that rating. Like 150 points almost higher than uh, Grishuk to press the act. Then Grishuk is like 70 points higher than I am. Utterly insane. So this is apparently an FM, Andrei Kalinashev, and uh, there's a, a poster, uh, Stephen, Stephen Au, who uh, has been posting on my videos frequently. I haven't seen him around recently, but he knows a lot about leverage. <laughs> Stephen, if you're watching this, I'm sure you can come fill us in on uh, leverage because you watched him play on chess.com and stuff. But it seems to be kind of like a mysterious player. I was looking at their history, and they don't really play like all that much. He kind of just like logged in for a few games the other day. Let's go G4 against Sir John. We logged in for a few games and he actually lost one of them, but um, still has a pretty massive rating. Okay, who's a little, one of us is lagging right there. Okay, I'll just play. Uh, let's play. Let's play Queen C two against that move. We can take on C four maybe. Guess we'll just go E three and try to recover the pawn. B five is not possible because of knight takes, so that's nice. I'll try to play A three back his bishop off. See if they capture. Does not. Okay, h4. This is the usual plan. Uh, let's go g5. Sure. And g6. And try to weaken their position. We'll go here, play in the center. Strengthen our center. Maybe c4 coming? Is e4 perhaps? c4 definitely looks like a move that should be played in the position. Okay, we'll take those bishops. I want to castle queenside, but they have bishop a4 if I were to play that, so. That's what we have to avoid. Um, let's play bishop d3. Maybe I can get the bishop up Check. to f5. Just hide our king a little bit. Uh, we'll take here. Check. We'll put the rook over on d1. Hmm. It's an interesting position. I feel like I need my king a little bit more hidden. Um, let's offer a trade. Time warning. Okay, let's go here. Maybe f4, f5. Oh, I just lost that pawn. It's not good. Hmm. Well, now I want to Check. avoid a trade. I'm dropping another pawn. I didn't see it, though, fortunately. Check. The thing is, they can make a lot of uh, quick moves here. Check. 
Okay, gotta get our pawn up. If we can, I can't move. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, I would have lost that anyways. He played way too fast for me. Okay, well, I'm a little disappointed to have lost that one, but it happens. This guy's fast. I've, I've actually struggled against this player on the clock in the past. I think skill-wise, you know, there's no problem, but he's speedy. Mr. Sir John. Okay, we're playing a mainline right now. Knight h4 is the move. Very, very mainline stuff. Let's play for c5. And then go king here. And maybe rook c8 to come. It's usually what happens. Um, mm, let's go here, actually. And then we'll try to trade off the dark square bishops. Uh, f7 is hanging, though, unfortunately for us. Yeah, okay. They can establish a pass pawn. Now they can take either one of my rooks. He's going to put the bishop on e4. This could be mildly annoying. Check. Because now I'm attacking here. Check. And I also might try to get in on... Okay, let's take that. We can go rook c1, unfortunately. Maybe a5, a4. Just to try to weaken his position. It's debatable how much I'm really gaining out of this, though. Hmm. Check. Big problems for him. Check. Check. Huh. Let's go here. I can't play rook a6, though, is the issue. Time will check. Ooh, I think I'm mating now. Check. Or winning a lot of material. Yeah, bishop b5 check. take. Okay, so we got that one off him. Madakar is the next opponent. Grandmaster, let's play the modern against Madakar. The Gurganidze system. Um, okay, we'll go here. Not sure how advisable this is, but we'll play it. Take, bring the knight back to f7. Yeah, and usually they play for c4 hereafter. Uh, let's go here. Reinforce. I think this position is reasonable. It doesn't look that bad. I'll take. I can take with the bishop, yeah. I have to guard e6. This is definitely a weak point in our position. Knight e4 they have. Ooh, he's going to try to rip it open. Let's go here. I think I can get away with that. At least I hope. Check. Knight takes... Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> I might have been too bold. Yeah, this is bad. All right, we're just going to try to do something. Threaten mate on g2. Yeah, you can just take on f7 now, though. Check. Yeah, queen d7. Check. Okay, I resign. We got slaughtered in the tactics there. Mark, Mark Dakar. He's like got an Azerbaijani name. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. <laughs> okay, that opening was a little suspect for us in the previous game. Time to improve. Uh, let's go bishop b2. And then maybe rook c1. Like, looks like pretty standard stuff. Keep their knight out of c4 for now. Hmm, let's play h4. I have done this before in this setup. They're usually trying to come in with their uh, queen there. Check. Okay, let's do this, and then maybe knight g5. I don't know. They can trade some stuff, though. And I do end up with this weak uh, structure. This is probably about the best pawn structure we're going to get out of this. So let's do it this way. Yeah, they can push these pawns. How am I going to cope with uh, their eventual play on the king side, is the thing. Okay, let's just go g4 for now. He can't stray too far because of this weak h-pawn. Hmm. He seems Check. unwilling to want to play for a win. Can I really Check. do much? I don't think so. Time warning. Just throw for a draw, I guess. Okay. Yeah, there wasn't really much to be done there. Just kind of a wall. Like, I can't get in with my king over here. I mean, I, playing a4 never makes any sense. Maybe I could do something with these pawns, but I doubt it, because his king is so close to all the action. h6 is defended. If my king comes over, he's going to start pushing. 
So a draw is fair from here. He actually had a substantial time advantage. Okay, we're back in the pool. We've lost a few rating points, but we are bowed but not broken. Styrion played this guy a couple sessions ago. I'm playing about 4.30 in the afternoon. Action seems to be good. Uh, let's play a4 just to stop b5. This is all standard stuff. This is very, very typical. Let's play bishop e3. Queen d2 it. Let's go here and then he can play his knight into c4 after this. Let's do this move. And then f5. c5 is hanging. So there's that. We'll just defend our b-pawn. We want that securely defended for sure. Um, let's go d6. It could be a thorn in his side. Let me put the bishop here. Uh, let's go attack f7. You can play f5 maybe. I want to wiggle my pieces in. Wiggle, wiggle. Let's get rid of this bishop. Knight f5 could be a nice attacking move. Ooh, or knight h5. Uh-huh, let's do that. He can maybe take it, though, and then he has to sacrifice his rook. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, he's going to knock that out. Okay, so i got to probably back this up. And then rook takes f7 as a threat. Ooh, 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 ooh. He is threatening rook takes g2. Time warning. Ouch. That is good thinking. Yeah, I got a block now. This is not good. I'm busted. I am busted. Mm, that was good defense by Styrion. I couldn't quite figure out how to break through right there. I probably got a little overexcited with um, that move. Okay, this is a good line for us. But that knight h5 move, I got a little bit too excited there. Let's play d6, a6 maybe, h6. He doesn't have to do anything with this because I'm not threatening to take. Once I move uh, my king away, when I castle sh uh, long, then I will be threatening to take. Let's take with a pawn. We'll go here. Hmm. You can double up and attack it though. Maybe knight before I have? Who was lagging? Oh, I was lagging. That's too bad. Check. Okay, I'm hitting C2, and I'm also hitting A2. Hmm. Let's go... Okay, let's go here. I'm not quite sure whether I should take on A2 or not there. So I'm down a pawn, but position's Check. good. Oh, Rook D4 he has. Ouch. Please don't see it. He saw it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're losing material. Check. Okay, let's just trade queens. Attack g2. Play b5 so we don't have to swap bishops. Quite yet, at least. Um, he's threatening nasty stuff. Threatening nasty stuff. We gotta defend this with everything we've got. You play his knight into c5. Like so. Oh, Check. No. Run away. Just run away. Just run away. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he found the checkmate. All right, we're playing Sir John again. Let's try to recover from these losses we've had. Rating is going down, down, down. All right, let's do this and then maybe rook d1. Let's back our queen up though, just so like knight e4 isn't an issue. He could probably play e4. Let's go h3. Just to defend against that possibility. Yeah, this position's about equal. There's not a whole heck of a lot going on. Check. Yeah, not much doing for either side. Hmm. 
Let's just go here. Can play his bishop there, that's true. Let's go here. And then maybe bishop c4, I'm thinking, or bishop f3. Depends. Or b4. b4 looks better. Hmm. Let's try to gain a little space. e4, prevent his knight from coming in. The d4 square is weak, though. He can come right back to that. If he wants. Try to do this. And then maybe trade bishops. Ooh, I left b5, hey. That was not good. Ah. Uh, that's too bad. Time warning. Nah, knight Check. f3 can come in. Check. Hmm. Check. Yeah, now we're losing. Okay, I'm gonna resign that, even though I had a little bit of time remaining. Just getting outplayed today. Okay, so this in this setup, yeah, white often tries to um, not play d4. They'll like avoid playing that entirely. So in reply, we're going to try to open up this area of the board. Stick this knight on h5. Hmm. A little bit worried that my rook might fall. Like he has knight takes d5 now, but we're gonna we're gonna make this interesting over here. Or if he can play queen takes, but I have bishop d5 if he does that. Oh, this move is strong now. Let's just take with the knight. Oh, I'm blundering. Take on e4. He didn't see it, though. You can play queen takes e4, that last move. <laughs> what a bizarre position now. Okay, let's push this pawn. Try to get it up to c2. Queen... C3 checkmate is the threat. Let's go here. Mm, he's barely defending. Let's push this. This is weird. So if ever that is played, he can't take my knight. But then again, I can't figure out how to uh, defend. Maybe he can take it now. Time more. Um, Check. Okay. We're simplifying. Let's stop that. This is a weird transition. Need our king off the same file. Check. Hmm. Check. Check. Mm. Check. No oh, man. <laughs> oh man, he's so fast. <laughs> yeah, this guy's just faster than me. Ah, uh, gotta get back in the pool. Okay. So I've lost over a hundred rating points now. But I'm more so unhappy with the way I'm playing. <laughs> Even though it's it's bullet. Okay, let's just play let's just play bishop e3. We'll be okay with some trades if he in fact wants to trade with us. There's just gonna be a lot of simplifications. Let's go here. Maybe g4, g5 is a plan. Let's try it. Just take away some space from him. Okay, I'll take here. This position is very equal. Go e4, just to shut down any attempts to play uh, d5 or something. Let's take out some space. He can maybe try to arrange... Um, hmm. Let's do this. If he takes, I have e5 is the thing. Bring his king up at the end. Hmm. He does have decent activity. And A3 Time is good. Let's do this. Hmm. 
Hmm. I can move my rook and then try to go after his a pawn. I should have done that on the previous move, actually. Let's go here. I'll put my king up on g5. Check. Check. Oh, I got mated. <laughs> oh, that's that's an embodiment of what's going on in this in this uh, session right here. Okay, I'm gonna play two more games, and then I'm calling it a session. Yeah, king to g5, walking into the checkmate. I'm gonna try to at least play these last two games well. No promises. Mm, I had this position yesterday. Let's just do this. Yesterday I played queen e5, and that turned out like kind of mediocre. It's castle now. So he can take on d7, I take with my rook. The point is, like, if he moves the bishop back, then I have rook e8. But, um, okay, let's go here. This is weird. I think I might be winning material now. He's got a lot of stuff hanging. Check. What's he gonna do? I mean, his knights are all discombobulated, uncoordinated. Okay, let's just go here. I think bishop out is a good plan. Go attack that pawn on a2. Maybe I can double up. Just put this away. Knight d5 could be coming. First, let's go here. Let's offer a trade. He takes it. Uh, I can come in. Yeah, c2 is weak. Check. Let's go here. Time. Gotta watch our clock though. Let's try check. to checkmate him. Check. You can give a check on B6. Check. Just go here. Let's just start coming in. Check. Check. Block here. Oh boy. I'll take it. No. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> he has 0 0.0. I have 0 0.1 and somehow he got the checkmate off? <laughs> no. Okay, this is a clear sign. This is like a sign from above that I need to quit. <laughs> oh, so bad. Okay, um, let's trade. And then... Pro well, actually, no, I'm not going to put the pawn on e4 this time around. I'm just going to do something solid. Let's play Let's play a4. How about that? And play for a5 and just try to play for, like, weakening their uh, queen side, basically. I'm okay with doing that. Okay, I have a definite advantage now because the a pawn is just a weakness. Hmm. Can't take it. I can go here though. Can we take it now? I don't think so. Let's just go back. Let's hide our king. Hmm. I feel like I should be advancing in the center, but I'm not sure. Be f3 next. Now this knight can't move, at least. Now it can, but. Hmm. Time warning. All right, let's get this out of the way. Didn't like that situation. You can play f5. Whose king is getting attacked here? Check. Mine or his? <laughs> That's a big question, actually. Mm, Check. I can do this. Check. Huh. Check. 
You can just take there, yeah. Um, okay, knight here. Check. Take on g2, he could do. Just gotta start playing fast. Check. I'm probably losing again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> this is an awful session. Let's tabulate the results. I had a good position there. I couldn't do anything with it. Oh, my gosh. I lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games in a row. And overall, okay, so one, <laughs> I won two games with a draw, and I lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games. So, yikes. Yeah, like massively negative record in this one. Two wins, nine losses, one draw. And we just got absolutely booted out of the top, whatever it is. <laughs> okay, hey, you're going to have days like this in chess. So I'll be back tomorrow. Um, there's always more rating points to be won and lost and more games to play. So hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. And I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.